called the Evening Star Crossing the Sun. And as usual here on Morning Live, we'll cover it as it happens. A strong warning though, do not try to view this six hour phenomenon with your naked eye. You need eclipse type glasses. Now looking directly at the sun will cause permanent eye damage. So please be warned of that. The transit of Venus will start happening shortly after 7 this morning and was last visible from the Earth way back, and I mean way back. This was in the year 1882. So later on we'll cause a cross to Sikkim Gaba Daily at Kailami Castle in Midrand where the South African Astronomical Society has set up giant telescopes to bring the event to the nation live. So Sikkim Gaba Daily will be there at Kailami as we just saw now. We also have Michelle, Michelle Garforth standing by in Tos Rafir. It's a town that has a very special connection with the transit of Venus and a premium spot from which to watch this rare event. So we'll cross to there uh, to Michelle a little later on. We'll also check in with Margot about what's happening on the weather front because Margot is broadcasting from there as well. So it's a brilliant broadcast that we have lined up for you here on Morning Live. Stay tuned. It's two minutes past six. First, let's check in with the news headlines. That no person alive today has witnessed it ever. The transit occurs when Venus orbits, uh, Venus orbit, orbit takes it between the Earth and the Sun. That's what happens. So the Venus orbit takes it between the Earth and the Sun. It will begin at around quarter past seven this morning and it will last more than six hours today. Venus will be visible as a small black dot about one thirtieth of the size of the Sun. Most of the Sun will be visible as Venus crosses to the right from the bottom left side of the solar disk. Venus will then be 43 million kilometers from Earth. Astronomers are warning the public not to look directly at the sun as this can cause permanent damage to the eye. Rather use a pair of eclipse glasses or some form of indirect projection to view this planetary phenomenon. Let's take a look now at what's happening.